Hallo kijkers van Shine Sprite, welkom bij een gloednieuwe aflevering van Professor Layton en de Miracle Mask. De meeting die gaat beginnen zoals jullie nog weten van de vorige aflevering. Dus ik druk op oké okay en dan gaan we zien wat er gebeurt. Ik denk dat het een filmpje is, maar dat kan fout hebben. Let's not try this out any longer than we need to. Grab a seat and sit in it. Voor jou. Oeh, we zitten vooraan. Niemand ziet wat achter Leten met zijn, ho zijn hoge hoed. Bloom, the floor is all yours. <laughs> Please, if you would give me your attention, then perhaps I could help you apprehend the masked gentleman. Since you have proven yourselves to be astoundingly ineffective thus far, you brought in some extra brain power to expose the truth behind these malicious tricks. <clears throat> <clears throat> this masked buffoon has made four appearances. We will now dissect each one carefully. By demystifying the masked gentleman's crimes, we aim to learn his methods and use that knowledge to track him down. We have a special guest here. His skills of observation are unparalleled in this room. Professor Professor Layton, if you would. Ah, uh, of course. Uh, where here would I like to start? Let's start with the most straightforward case. The people who turned into horses. Ah yes, I haven't been able to gather much evidence on that case. However, I understand that there were witnesses. Indeed, perhaps we would fill you in on what we know. Thank you, that would be very helpful. Well, naturally we have the statements taken from witness at the scene. Let's start with those. Please go ahead, Detective Bloom. I will now summarize the witness statements and uh, present some relevant evidence. Please pay close attention. The innocent occurred at night. The carnival's main attraction, the nightly parade, was full in swing. As the parade approached, a band in uh, the road near the shopping district, the masked gentleman appeared. Presumably the area was full of tourists. Yes, just as the masked gentleman had planned. A flash lit up in the sky and the crowd looked up to see the gentleman stood high above them on a ledge. According to our report, he snapped his fingers and the light intensified, blinding the onlookers. When the bright light subsided, um, it appeared appeared that some people had been turned into horses. At any rate, those people vanished, leaving behind only a few personal effects. Detective Bloom, do you have a theory uh, to what really happened that night? Yes, I do. I see, please allow me to confirm a couple of points before we continue. Does the parade start at the same time every evening? Um, in a manner of speaking, I suppose. It always starts just after sunset. Were, uh, were you able to confirm the identities of the people who were supposedly turned into horses? No, oddly enough, none of their belongings contained the, any IDs and no missing person, person reports have been filled. I see, thank you detective. Looking at information um, at hand, I believe the truth is clear. The masked gentleman obviously tricked witnesses into believing some people uh, had been turned into horses. There was one essential atm atmospheric element to his charade. Dat is het licht, toch? Oh. Dat zal... Time of day will sign on, of course. It was already dark at the start of the parade, so it would be easy to miss things even before bl the blinding light. My thoughts exactly, Professor. 
And of course, it's much easier to trick the eyes with bright lights when it's all dark around. Several witnesses claimed they actually saw tourists transform into horses. I, however, do not believe in magic. Why uh, couldn't the witnesses have seen the tourists uh, transform? Their eyes were closed, omdat het natuurlijk hele harde lichie waren. When the horses appeared, the people's eyes must have been closed. Right, at night their eyes would be have extremely sensitive to bright light. They couldn't have seen anything. In, all, in other words, the masked gentleman temporarily blinded onlookers to cover up the trick. Our so-called tourists swiftly left and uh, horses were let loose in the street, which leaves just one thing left to explain. Where the horses hidden? Where were the horses hidden? In the sewers, in the art gallery, in the allies nearby. Of course. The small dark allies giving on the high uh, the high street, one could hide horses in those, release them all at once. It would uh, seem you have it all worked out, Professor. Would uh, you care to elaborate, everybody? Certainly. First, it seems that the key to this miracle is its location. The shopping district is full of little alleys and the uh, particular area is isolated a bend in the road. Before uh, the incident everyone was uh, absorbed in the parade. No one paid attention to the dark alleys. Uh, a bright light appeared and suddenly blinding the crowd uh, and the horses released from the alleys. At the same time people dis disguised as tourists dropped some props and uh, went to hide in the alleys. By the time the witnesses could see clearly again, all they handled were the horses. Precisely, but there's no evidence that the masked gentleman had accomplices planned among the tourists. True, but isn't it suspicious that the belongings were found at the scene contained no forms of identification? Besides, if these people had been genuine tourists, their family would surely have reported them missing. Very good, Professor. That's my conclusion as well. Puzzle solved. Kabooming! What? So the masked gentleman's miracle was just a simple trick? Yes, Chief Inspector. Smoke and mirrors, so to speak. Only in this case it was bright lights and dark alleys. Bah! Alright, man. Let's have a breather. Leighton, come and see me again when you're ready to go on. Nou, ik wil, uh, wil die van de geste gestenen mens ook wel uh, doen hoor. That's Leighton for you. Reckon you uh, can explain the next miracle too? Denk het wel. Ik denk dat wij dat wel kunnen. Alright, time to move on to the next miracle. Let's see what you make of this one, Leighton. Will do what I can. Uh, what do you know? Uh, not a lot. The short... The short of it, some ch characters popped out of paintings at the art gallery and ran riot in the town. Characters from paintings ran riot, you say. Uh, what did they do exactly? The witnesses reported people dressed in strange clothes charging around and breaking things. But when the sun went down, they disappeared just as quickly as they appeared. Did anyone actually see these people step out of the paintings? No, the gallery had already closed by then. In that case, why did everyone suppose that they came out of the paintings? Well, apparently they looked just like some characters in the famous painting, paintings down the finest deta detail. Uh, and when uh, we checked the gallery, the, we saw the paintings were empty. Empty, you mean? Do you? Uh, the characters in those paintings were gone, vanished. Only a uh, thing that was left was the background. You saw th this yourself? Interesting. The key to this m 
trick must lie in the paintings themselves. That's what I thought, but uh, we've thrown our best experts at these paintings and haven't found a thing. I see, uh, please allow me to ask a few more questions then. Where are the paintings from which the people disappeared? Where were the paintings? Huh? Oh, where are the uh, schilderijen? Oh, waar de schilderijen die, uh, van, de, van die mensen? Um... From a common source? Did the paintings come from a common source? As a matter of fact, they did. According to the curator, they were all donated earlier that day. Ja, yeah, duh. That was a, uh, it was a collection of replicas and the donor wanted to remain anonymous. Yo. 1 plus 1 is 2, neem ik aan. All the paintings we're investi we are investigating came from that collection. That can't be a coincidence. However, donated these, uh, whoever donated these paintings was an accomplice. Agreed, we looked into it, but nobody has a clue uh, who this mysterious donor is. We questioned the whole staff of the gallery, but they uh, all came out clean as a whistle. But uh, what a huge blooming waste of time all that was. Hmm, I think we must understand how the illusion was created in order to find the truth. Where these speed paintings oddly shaped, strangely packaged, uh, unusually framed. Ik denk dat het om de package gaat. Ik denk dat ik weet waar dit naartoe gaat. We, uh, were the paintings um, packaged in any particular way? Hmm, the creator did say that the paintings were vacuum sealed. Uh, he said this was unusually reserved, usually reserved for rare items. Interesting, I believe uh, the airtight packaging is relevant here. The portraits were sealed when they, were, uh, when they arrived and uh, the frames came in thick metal cases. Um, the gallery staff were pretty surprised that replicas were given such secure packaging. We didn't really think much of it. Indeed, still, in order uh, for my theory to be correct, the donation must have included specific display instructions. Did the display instructions specify where to place them? Vanwege het licht, denk ik. Nee? when to display them. Where are specific instructions about the exact time uh, to display the paintings? The grades arrived in the morning, but the instructions from the donor said to display them precisely at noon. And therein lies the trick. Vanishing paint. The portraits were treated uh, with a special paint that slowly disappears when exposed to air. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, does such thing even exist? We've all observed how sunlight causes a painting to fade, yes? Uh, in, a uh, in a similar way, it's possibly to create chemically uh, reactive paint that turns transparent when exposed to air. Of course, with paint like that, you could make anything disappear from the painting. Correct, naturally it would take some time for the paint to uh, turn tr transparent, so the timing must be precise. The seals were, seals were removed so that the paint disappearing would coincide with the uh, appearance of the rioters. The masked gentleman had these rioters dressed up exactly like uh, the inf individuals in the portraits. Hmm, this either genius or other hogwash. Puzzle solved, kaboom. I like this theory of yours, Leighton, but we have no evidence to back it up. Well, I doubt the paint would just disappear without a trace. Uh, if you examine the canvas for chemical substances, uh, you'll find a residual outlines uh, where the paint turns transparent. I'll order the uh, analysis. Excellent work. I underestimated you, Leighton. 
Then we you know you do another one down. Good work, professor. Let's have a break. In order the breaks around <laughs> I order the breaks around here, Bloom. Alright everyone, off and off you go. Layton, let me know when you're ready to go on. Ik denk dat we gewoon meteen maar on go, of niet? Laten we dat doen. Right, you lot. Uh, let's get on with it. Inspector Grosky, uh, you're up next. Alright, Leighton. Here's another of the crooks miracles for you to ponder. Even you will find this one hard to explain. Well, see. If it's anything like the first two, it's not a miracle at all. The other two didn't evolve. Being... Ooh, engulfed in flames? Deze heb ik nog helemaal niet gehoord. True, tell me more about it. Solve this puzzle. Certainly, I have the report right here. The incident took place last Sunday. And briefly, that morning, 13 citizens received an uh, omni ominous letter. Naturally, it was from our uh, dastardly villain, the masked gentleman. Esteemed citizen, I cordially invite you to uh, a special afternoon showing of my latest miracle. Come to the gallery plaza at uh, 1 p.m. sharp. It must insist you at I must insist you attend unless you wish a forfeit for your life to forfeit your life. That is, but yo. I also adver he also advertised the, ev uh, the event in the papers. Miracle on Rouge, a modern piece of the masked gentleman. That's a bold move. I suppose the townspeople came. Townspeople and tourists alike. Uh, the crowd was enormous, apparently. Citizens of Montidor, welcome. I am the masked gentleman, your host for today's event. Also with us this afternoon are 13 very special guests, here at my personal behest. The crook's voice uh, could be heard, but uh, there was no sign of him. Only an odd tent in the plaza center. Then, just before 1 p.m., the canvas fell to reveal a strange, nay, a stage within the 13 uh, invitees inf standing on it. Hmm, how far uh, were the audience from the stage? Well, they can't have been close, or a lot of them would have been hurt. You see, when the clock struck 1, kaboom! The 13 people on stage all burst into flames. According to the reports, the flames grew to an inferno. Then, poof, gone, along with the people on the stage. The people on stage disappeared? Correct. As far as we can see, uh, the only explanation is that they burned to ash and blew away. Tuurlijk. That's not a miracle, that's public execution. Except it wasn't. They were all found at their homes later on. Uh, with not so much as a, a scratch, but that's impossible. Yes, the victims were just as confused as us. They went uh, to the plaza and that's all they remember. Did you check the stage? Perhaps there was a space to hide underneath? It wouldn't have been much of a hiding place. The entire stage was consumed by the fire. I'm uh, wrecking my brain, but it would be easier to bench press a lorry. Hmm, are you investigating officers present? Uh, yes, sir. Um, I took statements from the witnesses and uh, interrogated all 13 individuals involved, sir. Splendid. If you don't mind, I'd like to ask a few questions. The masked gentleman handpicked the victims. Were they... Oh, it, it must be friends with each other, I think. Of course. Were there infantry's friends by any chance? No, sir. Not exactly, but there was something. Go on, please. Well, it turns out the 13 infantry's are, are all members of the same squash club. Really? That's news to me. Tell me more about this club. 
Not much to tell, sir. It's a popular club. It concluded... I concluded that our whole thing was just a coincidence. A coincidence, eh? What do you think, Leiden? I think the young officer may have found a lead. Now, I have another question. Did any of the witnesses see... The masked gentleman? No. Hmm. Oh, the witnesses. Oops. Whoopsie floopsie. No, sir. Uh, no one was seen entering the tent or leaving it. So the, in uh, the invitees all got on stage without anyone seeing them. In the middle of the day, no less. Indeed. Hmm, I think this detail might be the key to the solving the puzzle. A final question, if I may. Could you tell me about the clothes the 13 uh, were on stage? Of course, sir. Ask me anything. Were they wearing other clothes later on? Were the infantry's clothing different from uh, what they were, wear were wearing when found later on? Um, I don't know, sir. sir. Is this important? It may be. Could you check for me? Of course, sir. I'll have a quick look through the photos. What are you thinking, Leiden? We might be on something here. How did you guess, sir? All their outfits changed. What? I checked the photos from the incident. The invitees were all wearing something uh, when we found them later on. What? That got to do... Uh, uh, I think we've got it. Another win for the yard. Don't hurt me, uh, Inspector. What is it? The victim's clothes burnt up on stage and they all ran home naked. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't hear uh, anyone else speaking up. Stop that smirking, Leighton. What is it? Out with it. I don't believe any of our 13 victims ever left their homes. Nonsense, Leighton. Hundreds of people saw them on the stage. Allow me to explain. We know that the masked gentleman sent instructions to 13 people asking them to come to the plaza. That's right. But the whole town was uh, sure to attend thanks to the newspaper uh, advert. Our villain already had his pick on, of victims. I believe the 13 each received two letters. The first letter was to be shown to the police and the second letter had the true instructions. These so-called special guests were not summoned to the plaza at all. They were order ordered to stay away, threatened even. But they were on that stage. No, it merely looked as though they were. Those people, quote unquote, um, on stage were uh, really just ex expertly crafted mannequins. And the clothing? Ah oh, yes, the dolls were, uh, wore clothing that belonged to those they resembled. Clothing that was stolen in advance. Ah, from the squash club. Some of them did say they had been victims of theft recently. Hang on a moment, sir. While the 13 were safely at home, the masked gentlemen burned their likenesses before the horrified crowd. The onlookers were already convinced he could perform miracles. So all it took was some rudimentary pyrotechnics. That's preposterous. Professor Layton, sir, you're right. I found a second letter in one of the unsorted evidence bags. And there we have it. Puzzle solved, kaboom. Very impressive, Professor. We're still investigating the per... The per Certification incident, but once we have uh, more to go on, I would appreciate your input. Who knows? Um, now that we're on the masked gentleman's method, perhaps we can solve this one ourselves. I have faith in your team, detective. We won't uh, be beaten by this little toad and his fancy circus tricks. I knew there were tricks all along. Now I've got a crook to catch. <laughs> I'll run a thousand miles for the yard. Yeah. 
Thanks again for your help, Professor Inspector Kurowski, and I will continue uh, investigation uh, of the per per pertific petrification incident. <laughs> Once he's calmed down, it is. Well, contact us uh, just as soon as we've finished. I look forward to it. We'll follow our own leads in the meantime. Well then, a meeting over. A back to the investigation. En ik wil jullie bedanken voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je dit nou een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Dan zie je heel graag weer bij de volgende aflevering van Professor Layton en The Miracle Mask. Ik heb nog maar één ding te zeggen. Dat is adios amigos.